Because he, he knows content. Hey guys, it's Ben from Idiots Play Games, giving you my Infernoid Lair deck profile. I've um, been testing for a while, the deck sucks, but I've made it the best that I could. I run it 40 cards, this card sucks, especially that Grants is going to, well, being banned. So, straight off the bat, 3 Lair. If you're not playing 3 Lair, then you're not playing, you know, the Lair combo at all. 3 Terraforming, Amir, is actually really great as well, because like late game, you can just like normal summon him, tribute their stuff off if you have Lair on the field, then get a draw. It's really nice, and the 17B to get over a few things. Gets over those annoying trick stars and all that. And I only play two Lilith. Um, the fact that you're playing 40 card means that you can't really like afford to run these at three. Um, I still like Lilith, but um, like late game you go into it, you've drawn more than you, the, the amount of trap cards you have. So yeah, I only run two. So that's it for the, um, the the lair package. I don't play big boy. I side big boy. I don't have the side on me, but if you want the big boy in there, you can get him in there indefinitely. Hand traps. I play two ghost ogre to deal with a lot of things on board mainly, just because you want to just pipe down things. No, I'm not slowing down at all. <laughs> but yeah, like just those annoying things and all that, like maybe like, uh, uh, I don't know. It's a hand trap. If you want to change that for Ashes, go for Ashes. I play Cypheram Gamma, and the one d uh, driver, of course, you know, your one Garnet. Um, Gamma, like, they can go... Oh, you're not shaking me, I thought you were shaking me. <laughs> Gamma, they, like, a lot of people, like, Ash you while you have nothing on the field, and then, like, just bring this out, and then you can go straight into some, anything you want. Very strong, um, I would always recommend to just run Gamma in this deck. Alright, now on to the Infernoids. Three of the best card in your deck. Uh, you know, you drop him, he's a level one. If we had Link Karibo in, in the game, we'd definitely play Link Karibo in Australia, but Konami sucks. And, yeah, Konami, right? Yeah, Konami sucks, so we don't have uh, Link Karibo, but if they ash this, then you just kind of cry a little. Two Anonsu, two Deviati. Ooh. Two non two, two Deviati. Um, very standard, you know, spell in negates, uh, dark hull, uh, destroy all spells, monster negate. Of course, you send him off these. I play two Systemus. Probably like, I probably go into this the most out of everything in my deck. The main reason why is because, like, a lot of people like just destroy your board and all that, and then you have to, like, force out to play one of these, but that they won't be expecting one of these and then bring out, like, let's say, Deviati. Um, so I always go into these guys a lot, and I usually use them for like linking as well. One uh, suggest just for the uh, void feast combo. Two Petrulia, two Harmadic. I see a lot of people playing three Harmadic. I don't like it at three. Um, I understand why people run it at three. I just still only run it at two. Um, and two Petrulia. I th I find that like this against like Pendulum is really great. You just want to pop down their scales and everything as much as you can. I play three Void Imagination. Going into this, I have this combo with this, um, where you just like go into Tierra. Um, Void Imagination by itself is a crap card, unless they have something like, if you're going second. If you're going first, it's ass. Three of the Searcher, three Feast. That's about it for that, you know, with three Feast. I play two Impermanence. The reason, I, why, reason why I play Impermanence is because, like, with Lilith, wherever it is, like, I feel like you need a minimum of four, but if you have, like, the Impermanences, like, this thing can't be called to the grave, and especially the Flood that just came out. Um, if they're called to the grave, like, let's say if this was Effect Veil, they can just negate it, while this, you know, just, they can't touch it. So, um, I found that just running, like, Lilith, and then, like, let's say you draw into two, at least you can go into, like, one of these and potentially a Feast. But yeah, yeah. Now this is kind of like the game breaking card that I, I run that no one else really runs. Rekindling. Fuck Monster Reborn, fuck everything else. Rekindling's the shit. If you don't know Rekindling, it's limited, you can only run it at one. Um, you summon back all your Decatrons. So like, you go late game, you top deck this, and then you like, I never banish the Decatrons. So you bring these back, fill up your whole wall, thing, uh, you drop again, and then um, like, I usually link from there to go into better things and all that. But yeah, if you're not playing Rekindling, you're a bad player. Alright, onto the extra deck. Tierra? Three Entus. 
that's kind of like standard. Everyone knows the, the Sierra, the Ensis combo. But um, like what if I usually send the three Decatron if I haven't gotten Void Feast off, or if I have don't really have targets, and if I like get rekindling, then I can just bring him back instantly. Um, but of course, you know, you can do whatever you want with that. I play a small Nightmare Engine, one Phoenix, one Unicorn. Phoenix, better than Cerberus, hands down. And Unicorn, to spin whatever you want back. It's great. And then, like, if you have these guys linked, which actually happens a lot if you get Rekindling down, um, like, you can get that extra draw as well. One little uh, Doulette Chimera. Everyone tells me this card's good. I don't like it. It's kind of boring. I never really go into it. Like, people say, oh, yeah, if you go into two Decatrons, and then, like, they do nothing with it, you can link into it. I'd rather just link into Underplot Faker to destroy them. Oh, I play Cerberus as well, but uh, you can cut him if you want. You chuck, like, I don't have Borrow Load. You can put Borrow Load in instead. One Link Spider. Just because your tokens, you can just tribute them off and go into Link Spider. One Firewall. Like, Firewall's still broken. I'm never going to not run Firewall in any deck. And that's with the Links. One Abyss Dweller. And one number 38. Um, like, it's a little bit of, like, overextending if you go into this guy. Uh, like, Hope Harbinger, if you get him in the field, you kind of win. But at the same time, you could go into anything else. Like, the way you go into this, if, you, if you're, if uh, like, a side of Tondal as well, so you can put a Tondal in. But if you manage to get double Void Feast, and, like, let's say you're into Sujet, you can go, like... Um, or like one void feast, you can go like Decatron, Decatron, then you can go into um, like two, send two Seismus, then put them over the top, or you can go like one Atondal and one Decatron, and then like like send a Seismus to go into this. It's very strong. Um, spell negates, they're great with the game, especially with you know all these brandished cards coming out. Then I play two Synchros Omega because it's amazing, and Beals because it's amazing as well. Against like Trickstar, True, uh, True Draco, and all that. Um, and yeah, that's it for the deck profile. Um, I'm still getting back into the game, of course. It, like, this is probably the first competitive deck that I wanted to try. I had the whole Infernoid engine, so I was like, yeah, why not? Let's just play Infernoids. That's it for the videos, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Guys. Oh, yeah.